Hey guys, today we have the new G6 PTZ. Uh, this just debuted, it's uh, MSRP is 399. Uh, just came out, uh, currently is out of stock. I was able to pick one up though. Uh, the release version two today is just, it comes in white. It will be available in black. It has, I believe that comes out in August or October. Uh, for the black PTZ. Uh, it has two camera lenses on here. It has a telephoto and a wide angle. Uh, this box is actually quite large. It is probably about a foot and a half uh, in height, um, but let's get cracking into it. I also did get a new uh, mic setup, so let me know how that sounds for you. But let's get cracking into it. Always so nice to hear. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna open the box up. And there we are. Wow, that is actually quite a big camera head. Uh, let's slide this guy out, shall we? All right, so here we have the G6 PTZ. This head is probably about six inches in diameter. Actually, I think it was, it's larger than I actually anticipated. And we got a few things um, in the box. We got, it looks like a mounting plate. Uh, it looks to be a, I think this is a sticky. No, it just looks like a normal plate. Um, we got a ceiling tile, kind of locking bracket, similar to the access points that back. I'm not sure how this one in. We'll figure that out later. Uh, and here we got, I believe this is table stand. So this is the table stand and it looks like as well as maybe a ceiling screw in as well. Let's see if you guys can see that maybe. There we go. Uh, please ensure the rubber grommet is in place securely before touching. So it's also waterproof, but also acts as a table stand. So we'll slide that out. Looks like we got, yeah, some more information about how it locks and stuff. Here we have a pole mount. So yeah, so this is ceiling, this is a polo slash wall mount. Um, there are other adapters like the conduit adapter, which I got um, for a pole that I'll be putting it on. Looks like there's just some, what fell out is, looks like some just scrap cardboard for packaging. Sweet, oh, and here is the wall mount level. And it looks like there is the pull adapter. Slide those back in there. Looks like the shield then does come with the rubber garment as well. And the little feed through for the RJ45. Now we get to the big daddy. This thing weighs a good actual, I'll say like five pounds. It's not light by any means. Um, here we have obviously the LED status indicator. And there is the beautiful telephoto and wide angle lens. Let's you can feel the motors in there as well. I'm gonna cover that back up for right now. I don't wanna get any fingerprints on it. Um, up top, we have a re reset hole and a POEM plus with, yeah. and. Looks like we also got an SD card reader, which this, actually no, it is a USB-C. So this must be for additional power, I believe, in case you don't have PoE, which interesting enough, I'll have to look at what that actually does. Um, and it looks like we got a heat sink on the back and that's about it. I'm gonna put this off to the side for a second here. You get mounting hardware, including a ring and some documentation. Sweet. 
All right, let me, I'm gonna plug this in in the other room and then we'll go to, over to the computer and get a computer. I'll be back with you guys. Alrighty, so I got the camera adopted and connected and updated. It only took about three minutes or so, um, but I have it in the other room and it's facing a field. So to maybe zoom into some horses or some cows, we might be able to. Um, it's probably a foot away from the glass, uh, but here is the camera. Now you can already tell, let's go ahead and put this on high quality mode. Wow, that is Chris from stock. Obviously you can do, I forgot what the controls were. Okay, is it arrow? It's arrow, okay. So I got its arrow keys. So probably right now it's in the wide angle lens. I'm not sure when it actually switches over to the telephoto. Probably once you get in close enough and you can, you can see my outside of the glass is actually dirty. Um, let's, where was the control hints? I always forget, uh, mouse control. So you can do mouse control, smart zoom person, uh, patrols. So you can do patrols like, um, say for instance, you have certain areas that you need to cover, um, with one camera, you can patrol those zones at a timely certain designated time. I believe it's, we'll save this view as a preset. And then we can do another preset. So let's move the camera a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's do that. Maybe a little more. We'll add another preset. There we go. And then assuming home is the first preset that you set, which is correct. So the patrols set up two presets next. So the minimum duration is 20 seconds. The maximum duration is a minute. It's going to create a patrol and hit play. And then we'll just Wait here 20 seconds. Okay, so the first patrol is the first instance. So I'm not sure which one in the home. I think you actually do that in the primary settings of where the home position is. Give it a second. 20 seconds later. You can even see the grass moving, and there it was. So as you can see, you can create patrol zones. I believe it said it was nine. Reset. I'm not sure. Let's see how many we can max this out to. So 10, 10 presets. I'm um, going to have to go through and delete all these now. I'll do that later. I'm um, this is for a client anyway, so I'll, I'm going to remove this camera anyways. So let's see if I just click on the screen where I want for it to go. It goes through. Okay. So yeah, so anywhere on screen you can click and we'll point. So I'm assuming we just scroll in. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's, I'm going to move it slightly out. Let's look at this. I think that's a horse over there. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's do 10 X. No, that's a bush. Wow. That's actually pretty impressive. So we obviously we switched to wide angle. I'm pretty sure there's a bird right there. So I'm pretty sure and that was a Domino's car. I think it's at five X when it actually switches to the telephoto lens. Let's see. You know, there's a cow. I'm pretty sure the cow is eating its own poo right now. <laughs> All right. Interesting. Um, but wow, this is in perspective. So here's the the cows, obviously. Let's go ahead and zoom all the way out to one X. From there, all the way to there. And that's actually a pretty significant distance. Uh, here's a car, actually. Let's just zoom in on this car real quick. I don't know if I'll be able to get a good shot. Well, let's see. I think it's too far. I have it on the I'm on a top of a stand right now, so I can clear the screen of the window. Um, but it looks like it's too far down, unfortunately. But let's see for this car. Let's go over in this car real quick. So far, I'm already impressed, especially for the price tag of four three ninety nine. 
Um, this is 4K video. So 3, 330, we'll look at it in a second. Um, but it has an 8 megapixel lens in total. Uh, so that's for the two combined. So four and four. Um, it has 30 FPS for maximum. And just the fluid. Can't read the stop sign. That's fine. That's pretty far away. I want to say that's easily, but you can see the car. Let's see this car driving by real quick. I mean, that's a pretty significant distance and it's, it would be more clear if obviously if it wasn't going through some glass, um, glass obviously isn't the cleanest, but I'm just thoroughly impressed. And that's the memorial on top of the hill there, but it's actually really nice. I'm impressed by the quality little station up on this hillside there. Just wow. I'm actually thoroughly impressed. All right, let's go down into specifics. And obviously you can turn on or you can move with your keyboard and mouse. I think it was Q and B. E. So it looks like, yeah, arrow keys, presets zero through nine. Excuse me, uh, save as preset I and O and the reset for back to home position. So I'm seeing O is the zoom in, I, I is the zoom in. Yeah, you can see about, I would say about 50%. You can see it switch. Let's bring this back to five. Let's see, yeah, you can see the switch right there. I'm pretty sure it's at five. About four. Up four. Okay. So interesting. Let's see. Let's go back to 10x. I'm curious about the actual zoom and built digital zoom. Let's see here. Honestly, for being that far away, this is actually pretty far. Uh, you still can make out the details and it's going through glass again. So I'm I'm thoroughly impressed, actually. Especially for the cost, because normal PTZ is pretty expensive any major brands right, perfect okay let's go back to the specs so the specs um obviously the model motion mac uh the bit rate I believe the maximum bit rate is let's see here 60 megs obviously 30 fps so it's not gonna let you adjust the bit rate unless i'm wrong obviously someone could clarify me in the comments i never usually have to mess with the bit rate um on things Actually, let me double check to make sure that's safe. So what we get is optional recording of 4K, 2K, and HD. Um, for 4K, we can go over to the page for 4K. I think it's 3824 by 21, yeah, 3840 by 2160, 16 by nine aspect ratio, eight megapixels total. Actually, sorry, correction, it's eight megapixels for both lenses. So we got the wide at eight and the tele at eight as well. Um, it does have the, uh, color night vision with the um, spotlight on there. I'm not sure if we'll, I won't be able to, here, we'll do this. I'm going to move the camera. I'm going to face this to the camera and we will see if I'm able to actually turn that on for you guys. Go down here. Testing one, two, probably because I have a different microphone. Let's see. Testing one, two, one, two. I'm not hearing it. It's probably set up with another default device on my computer. Um, I do plan on deploying this and filming it, so we'll test it then. Um, but so far, I'm very impressed with the camera. It does, uh, the maximum power consumption is 24.5 watts, so uh, consider that. It is POE's plus, and it does have a, a micro SD card slot. I'm pretty sure it can go up to 250 gigabytes for the SD card. I don't see it listed here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Uh, but as far as night vision, uh, it's 98 feet or 30 meters. But 
so far I am super impressed. And so for black, it is in Q3 for 2025. So Q3 starts on July 1st. So I'm not sure if it's between then and when Q3 ends. I believe Q3 ends in August. Um, but yeah, impressed. Anyways, if you guys looking to hire us, you can visit us on our web at mvnisp.net. All right, guys, have a good one. Later.